Now, to be completely honest with you, we've had some computer problems and we are without a weather computer at this moment. But here's what we're going to do because we are a live television show. We're going to make the best of what we can. And here's what we got. I've got a little drawing of the United States. What has been going on the last couple of days is we've been watching a cold front that has been off to the north and to the west of the Tennessee Valley. And there's the cold front now. It's actually literally across the upper Midwest and that continues to push further off to the south and to the east. Why are we focusing on this cold front is because behind it, it is actually some cooler air, but what's happening is all of the energy is across the northern half of the United States, up there where the jet stream is. As this front continues to push further off to the south and to the east, it is actually going to weaken. Yes, we might see a few scattered showers across places like Kentucky, getting into Illinois and into Indiana, but as it pushes further south towards our area, it more or less runs out of steam, if you will. So we're only looking at some cloud cover for tomorrow. As this front pushes through, we could still see some uh, scattered, maybe uh, some isolated showers during the early early morning to uh, we'll say early afternoon hours. After that, this front will push to the south of us. That's going to allow some of that cooler air to move in. Now, high pressure, which has been to the east of Tennessee over the last several days, continues to dominate the weather today. But there's actually another area of high pressure well off to the north of this cold front. This one coming out of Canada. This one's got some colder air associated with it. So as the front pushes to the south, another area of high pressure will move in and that's going to bring with it some cooler air. Temperatures by we'll say Sunday getting into Monday could be upwards to 10 to 15. 15 degrees cooler than they have been over the last couple of days. Even though we need some rainfall, I just don't see a whole lot of out of this front as it moves through as we head into your Saturday. So a bit of bad news there. Yes, we've got lots of activities going on. The race for freedom, bug up palooza that's going on over the uh, over the weekend here. So good news for some of those events. However, as we head into uh, next several days, looks like we're going to dry out because that area of high pressure that built in for next week is going to more or less sit just like this last one did. And that's going to keep us dry as we head into the next several days. And that means we could be looking at temperatures, we'll say getting into uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the low 70s, very comfortable, but with that high pressure moving in, awfully dry. 15, 16, 17 days in a row, we could be looking at lots of dry conditions. Good news, very comfortable. However, we are looking at uh, a bit of a dry spell here, and that's not really going to help out with the pollen count. Of course, we need some water for our gardens as well. You're this is why I work sweating. with this is where, why I work with graphics every day, and uh, I didn't really pass a drying test. What so. happened? To, I know you're not. An I did artist, that in like 20 seconds. What happened to California? Uh, well, you know, they say that it could happen one day. <laughs> <laughs> so, but actually. You know, it's going to be cloudy tomorrow. We'll clear out tomorrow night. High temperatures, low 70s on Saturday. Lots of sunshine on Sunday. High temperatures right around 70. I can't wait to see what you have for last weather. You know, I Thank think I might night. just make a seven day. All right. <laughs> I, was, I was getting there. You got Saturday and Sunday. I was working on it.